Welcome, electronic video guests, to the Outer Limits of the Trading Card Hobby, TTM. Through the mail, we seek to have the famous and the infamous sign the trading cards and photographs we send to them through the mail. Today, we have five such specimens to examine. Five trading card autograph request return specimens to examine before the year 2022 ends. So if you like seeing envelopes being cut open, you've come to the right place. Sit back, relax, and get ready to enjoy the fun. Presented to you absolutely. 100% advertisement free from the worldwide YouTube video air fill. And after we look at our TTM returns, let's open this 30 card value pack of 2022 Donruss Elite NFL trading cards. Look for exclusive pink parallels. It's got Aaron Rodgers on the cover, and he does like the color pink. Look at that. Age is nine plus. You've got to be nine years old to look at these cards. Don't show these to somebody eight or younger, or you could be arrested for corrupting the morals of a minor. 2022 30 card value pack Donruss Elite. We'll do that. Maybe we got something we can give away, something good in there. We'll find. Let's see. But first, let's do some TTMs to end 2022. TTM number one. <coughs> oh boy, oh boy, this is coming to us. Richmond VA. Richmond Va. Let's see what we got out of old Richmond Va. A TTM. We got a note back. Looks like we got some questions on the note. Oh, it's one of our custom art cards. And that is a sweet one. Look at that. Bobby Ross, head coach, Detroit Lions. <laughs> Look at that. He's got his famous lionized face on there you know he's been to the ringer coach in the lions look at that face that says it all that captures the experience of trying to coach the detroit lions best wishes bobby ross thank you coach ross for signing this custom art card great old ball coach one of the few coaches who could win both at the college and nfl level he won a national championship at Georgia Tech in 1990 and took the Chargers to the Super Bowl in 1994. Then, as we say, he tried to coach up the Detroit Lions and he ended experience the football hell that is the Lions. He quit in frustration midway through the 2000 season while he had a winning record. The Lions made a quitter out of out of the old Army First Lieutenant. How do you like that, Bobby Ross? This is too much. I said I don't. He said I don't coach that stuff. That was his famous line as head coach of the Lions. Look at that look on his face. That is Detroit Lions football. Thank you, Coach Ross. Really appreciate you signing that custom art card. That is a beauty. Yeah, let me see what he said on the note here. I asked him about, that's got to be rough coaching the Lions. Let me see. Uh, what does this say? Uh, what does this say here? Oh, man. He says here, let's see if we can make this out. Thank, thank you for your nice note. Stick with the Lions. They are getting better. The loss... Uh, Oh, the loss of Reggie Brown was big. He wasn't just starting 
he he was just starting to understand uh, something or other. Let me see. What does this say? What does this say in the back here? If you have another card like this one, if so, if possible, please send one and I'll pay for it. Oh, Coach Ross. Well, I'll get him another custom card. Very nice. I couldn't see what he said there about Reggie Brown. He was the linebacker, unfortunately, that was almost paralyzed at the, in one of the Lions games. Uh, I mentioned that. I said it always seems that some kind of bad luck happens to the Lions, but he doesn't seem too bitter about his experience with the Lions, and we're going to make sure that we get one of these custom cards out to Coach Ross. We'll send that back to him. Oh, we really appreciate him signing that card in the nice note. Bobby Ross, great old Lions coach. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate that. That's a great way to start, isn't it? Thank you, Coach Ross. All right, let's see what we got here next. This one's coming to us from somewhere out there. Sent to us by the that behind all that. Let's see what we got. TTM number two. Oh, that is beautiful. Man, oh man, I forgot. All, I sent this out more than a year ago. Campy Russell, 1975-76 Tops rookie card. Look at that beautiful card. Signed by M. Campy Russell. Look at that. That is a sweet, sweet card. Campy Russell. He's now 70 years old, one of the greatest basketball players I ever saw at Michigan. He was a high school All-American in 1973 at Pontiac Central, an All-American at Michigan in 1974, averaged 23.7 points per game. Number 8 overall pick in the 1974 draft by the Cavaliers, he averaged 16 points a game for his career. <clears throat> his best year was 1978-79 when he was an all-star and averaged 22 points a game. And he got his nickname Campy from his middle name, Campanella, after the old great Hall of Fame Dodgers catcher Roy Campanella. Campy Russell, thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. Great, great Michigan basketball legend signing his 1975-76 Topps rookie card. That is a beauty. That is one of our best returns ever. Campy Russell. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate that. Like I said, this has been for sure more than a year. Didn't think I was going to get that one back. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. All right, what do we got next? This one's coming to us. This feels a little big. I hope it's not a price sheet in there. It feels kind of odd. What is that? Coming to us out of suburban Illinois. I don't like how that feels. I don't know what, what do we got in there. What's, what is that stuck in there? A postcard? No card, just a postcard. Oh, that's Dan Pasqua. Oh, boy. What the heck is this? I sent him a 1985, his 1985 Donruss rookie card. Looks like he kept that, and he sent me back this uh, his own homemade postcard. I guess that's his, is that an auto pen signature on there or a real signature? I don't know, but I, I don't know about that. I'd rather have my... Uh, Rookie card back unsigned, to tell you the truth, and get one of these postcards. I don't even know if that's a real autograph. I guess it is. I don't know why why they would do that, but Dan Basqua, he's 61 years old, and uh, he kept his rookie card and sent me this postcard. So I guess that's kind of a half failure, full failure. I don't know. Dan Basqua. All right. At least he sent something, I guess. <laughs> Let's move on quickly to the next one. This is coming to us from the great phony X Arizona. 
What in the world have we got out of Phony X? Let's open this up and see. Hopefully it's not a postcard. Yeah, here we got our card back. Nice and signed the way we like it. Terry Kennedy, great old catcher. 66 years old. This 1991 upper deck card. That looks really good. Terry Kennedy, look at that sweet old upper deck card. Beautiful. Terry Kennedy, college baseball player of the year in 1976 at Florida State. He was one of the better catchers of the 80s. Four-time All-Star. Made the All-Star team in both leagues. 264 lifetime batting average, 113 home runs. Best year, 1982 with the Padres. He hit 295. 21 homers, 97 RBIs. He played on two World Series losing teams, the 84 Padres and 89 Giants. He did hit a home run in that 1984 World Series loss to the Tigers. Terry Kennedy, 66 years old, signed a 1991 upper deck card. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate that. Pretty good old catcher, Terry Kennedy. Very nice. Excellent. Take a look. That's beautiful, isn't it? All right. Here's our last TTM. <clears throat> this is coming to us from Santa Ana, California. What do we got there? Looks like we got our note back. We got our card. Oh, unsigned. Oh, Rex Myrich, unsigned. Did he put anything on the note? Looks like there is a note on here. He didn't sign. Let's see. What does this say? Thank you for your kind letter. My father, Rex Myrich, passed away last year. Oh, boy. Looks like our autograph site's a little out of date. That is too bad he passed away last year. He loved being a Raider for the record and was friends with Ben Davidson until he passed. Happy holidays. Is that, could that be Irina Myrich? Or I'm not sure what the name is there, but one of his children. Well, well that is very sorry to hear that. I'm kind of sorry I didn't know he had passed away You know, quite some time ago. I would not have wanted to trouble their family with that card, but that was very nice of them to put that note on there and send that card back. Sorry to hear about that. And that, uh, just hope his family has recovered well and uh, looking forward to a new year. We'll give them peace and grace and comfort to them, and they have great memories of their father, Rex Myrich. So thank that family for sending this back. Well, that's our TTM. It's kind of a couple unusual ones. The sad one there with Rex Myrich and then the Dan Pasqua uh, postcard. He stole my rookie card and sent me back a postcard. But let's go on. Let's, we said we'd open up these Donruss Elite 2022 30 card value pack. Let's see if we got anything in here worth giving away. Try to start off the new year. With a little giveaway if we got anything good in here. Let's see. Let's see what we got in this 30 card value pack. Well, let's see what we got. Look at card number one. How about that? Mark Andrews. Tight end. Look at that. Very nice card. Mark Andrews. Oh, then we got a sweet Jared Goff card. He's having a great year for the Lions. They're still in. They're still mathematically alive for the playoffs with two games to go. Playing the Bears Sunday. Jared Goff leading the Lions. The return. He's trying to restore the roar to the Lions. Jared Goff. That's a nice looking card. That's a nice Jared Goff card. All right. What else we got? Well, we got a Darius Leonard. And then we got a Sam Darnold. Look at that. That's not a bad looking card. Sam Darnold. What else? Austin Eckler. 
Very nice. Anything on here? Uh-oh, look at that. Josh Allen. Maybe the MVP. Who knows? Look at that nice Josh Allen card. Oh, J Jameis Winston. He's been collecting a lot of pines sitting on that bench this year. Oh, Jameis Winston. Uh-oh, talk about sitting on the bench. What a year this kid has had. Zach Wilson up and down like a yo-yo. His confidence is shot. Is he a number two overall draft pick bust? It doesn't look good. He has had a rough, rough year. Poor kid, Zach Wilson. He's got to get back to Utah and meet up with his mom's best friend to get a little... A little consoling and uh, <laughs> boost his spirits back up. Poor old Zach Wilson. He has had a rough, rough year. Nice looking card, though. What we got here? Scary Terry McLaurin. He's had another great year for the Commanders. Very nice card. Scary Terry. And then we got a Roquan Smith just traded to the Ravens. Very nice card. There's some nice cards in here. Michael Pittman Jr. Colts have had a rough year with Jeff Saturday. <laughs> what, that's an experiment that didn't quite work out too well for the Colts. And they talk about quarterback problems. Man, oh man. And then we got a Chris Godwin. Tampa's still in it. Who is this? Ezekiel Elliott. Very nice. And then we've got <laughs> Deshaun Watson in his Browns uniform. What about this guy, huh? Deshaun Watson. I'll tell you what. Do not take any massage bookings from this guy unless you want to get some uh, bodily fluid sprayed into your face. <laughs> Deshaun Watson. What does it say here, Anything in the back about his troubles? Nope. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that card is up for grabs. Let's put that one up there in the giveaway pile. We got Clyde Edwards Hilaire. In fact, what was this card right here? We got a nice rookie card of a Tyler Beatty running back. Let me play that Missouri, right? Yeah, played at, played at Missouri. Uh, running back. Let me get some here, though. Let me get. So I got my hazmat gloves on. Let me see. So we got to do this upright. We got that. Uh, we got some hazmat gloves we got to put on for that. I got to put up that Deshaun Watson card, right? Let me get these hazmat gloves. We got some hazardous materials. Yeah. Let me get these gloves on here. We got our hazmat gloves on. We got some hazardous materials over here. Got to be very careful how we handle this. We don't want to get any. It's a dangerous material. We'll put that up there so everybody can see what we got possibly to give away. Put that up on the hazardous materials there. That Deshaun Watson card. That's a possible giveaway, but you can see that in the hazardous materials. All right, let's take our gloves off now, return to looking at our cars. All right, so we had that Tyler Beatty rookie. What's this? This is called Spellbound with the letter L for Justin Fields. He is having a great year running the ball, still struggling passing, but... He has set all kinds of records for running QB. That's a nice little card. Somebody might like that. Let's put that over there in front of the hazardous pile. And what do we got here next? Javante Williams. I think he's been injured most of the year. Too bad. And then we got a Keenan Allen card. What's this here? Jalen Waddle, he's had a good year for the Dolphins. Very nice. I kind of like these elite cards. They got a little, 
kind of a foil texture to them, a little shine to them. There's a Brandon Cooks. Christian McCaffrey. Look at that action pose. Look at him. He's showing off there. What else we got here? Jerry Judy. He hasn't he hasn't really done very much since he came out of Alabama. Has not lived up to the hype. Of course he's had to play with Russell Wilson. <laughs> This year, he never really had a good quarterback there at Denver. Now, I got a Chase Young. He's just back in action now for the Commanders. Another guy hasn't really lived up to the hype. Chase Claypool. I think he just got traded to somewhere. Where did he end up going to? To the Bears, I think, to Justin Fields. Hasn't been able to take advantage of him. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. What's this card here? Russell Wilson. He has had a horrible year. He has really fallen off the table. One of the gossip sites says the reason he's fallen off the table is because uh, he's no longer taking performance-enhancing drugs. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. That's just one of the gossip. That's one of the rumors about why he's such a been such a flop. We got a Daniel Jones. I don't know about these cards. T. Higgins. And a Dalvin Cook. Only one rookie card in that 30 pack. Boy, that's not, you don't really get much, not much value. With Tyler Beatty was the only rookie card. Well, there really weren't too many cards in this pack. Sorry to say, not too much. If anybody would like this Justin Fields Spellbound card, though. Uh, just put a little note down there in the comments field. Just put uh, hashtag JF. If you're the only person that claims it, we'll give it to you. If more than one, we'll do a drawing. Same thing for this hazardous material card of Deshaun Watson. If you want that one, put hashtag DW in the comments field. If you're the only one, we'll send it out to you. More than one, we'll do a drawing. Got till 10 a.m. Monday. January 2nd, 2023. We'll do any drawings if we need to shortly thereafter. Like I said, this was there was not one rookie card in the whole pack. That's kind of disappointing. That was not that's kind of a dud pack. I think that was what $9.99 or $10.99 I paid for that. Boy, that, I got ripped off on that one. But that is it. We are ready to hit the stop button on another TTM video and dump that thing into the worldwide YouTube video air fill. God willing, we'll be back in a few days with some more TTMs. Until then, Happy New Year and enjoy the rest of your life.